In this video we're going to do a quick introduction to the normal distribution and how to calculate normal probabilities in the context of an exam question. So basically it says a scientist found that the time taken m minutes to carry out an experiment can be modelled by a normal random variable with mean 155 and standard deviation 3.5. So let's try and draw this in a diagram. So we've got a normal distribution, sometimes called a bell curve because it's shaped like a bell. And in this bell curve, the mean's always right in the middle. So there it is there. So just a quick explanation of what this curve actually means. So let's say that instead of being the amount of time taken to do an experiment, let's say that this curve represents the heights of people. Let's say the average height of a person is 155 centimetres. So the mean, 155, is right in the middle here. So that says the biggest proportion of people here will be of average height, be of mean height, which is 155 centimetres. Now, as people get taller and taller, there's fewer and fewer of them. Likewise, as people get smaller and smaller, again, there's fewer of them. Most people are here in the middle. So that's the briefest of introductions as to what the normal distribution actually represents. Let's have a look at the question now. So it says, find the probability that M is greater than 160, I find the probability that the time taken to complete the experiment was more than 160. So it's actually the area under the graph that represents probability. So the probability that M bigger than 160, what we need to do is find the area from 160 upwards. Now this graph goes on forever. It goes all the way up to infinity. So marking on the 160 at our boundary, and it's this area here. I've just shaded in that we're going to calculate. Now, the way we do that, so we get our calculator and put it in distribution mode. That's mode 7. I'm going to do the normal cumulative distribution, normal CD, which is option 2. So the lower bound of our region is 160. The upper bound is infinity. Now, the calculator can't deal with a number infinity, so we're going to put the biggest number in that the calculator can deal with. 10 to the power of 99, that's the number we're going to use to simulate infinity. It's told us that the standard deviation is 3.5 and that the mean is 155. So pressing equals, we get the answer, which is 0 0.0766 to three significant figures. So part A, P equals 0 0.076. 6, 6 to 3 significant figures. Okay, part B. Find the probability that M lies between those two values. Well, nice and easy. Let's go back. The lower bound is 150. This time the upper bound is 157. Same mean and standard deviation. Now, the reason that this is a sensible place to put the boundary line is because the axis in the middle so everything to the right of the axis, that axis cuts it in half, so there's 0.5 area to the right. There's also 0.5 area to the left as well. So if we want 0.3 area to the left, that's a sensible place to put the boundary. So let's call that M. Now in our calculator, we can actually calculate boundaries. Actually what I'll do, I'll label that 0.3 as well. We can calculate boundaries, given probabilities, using the inverse normal mode, so mode 3 there. Now the calculator here takes area to the left. It's important that you must put in the area to the left, not to the right. So the area to the left here is 0 0.3. Sigma is 3.5, mu is 155. You get the answer, 153.165. So... M equals 153.165. Now, these questions were drawn from the old specification, uh, and, and this was all done in a different way, so they're probably not going to be worth as many marks now as they were back then. So this was worth three marks, four marks, and four marks. You know, we'll be lucky if they're going to be worth two marks each on this particular question, so bear that in mind. Okay, so that's the question done. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.